I met Nina when we were classmates in undergraduate college at NYU, actually in 1946. Uh, both uh, happened to get into the same medical school, which was also New York University. And uh, fairly early on in the first year of medical school, when I certainly didn't know where I was going, she decided she, she wanted to be a surgeon. And uh, I, that was sort of uh, territory that was not friendly to women. Nina Braunwald was the first woman cardiac surgeon actually in the world uh, and the first to get board certification by the American Board of Thoracic Surgery here in the United States. But besides these first as a woman, she was also an incredible technical surgeon and scientist. She was the first woman to actually implant a mitral valve that she had helped to develop in the lab, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. You actually build a valve and then put it in people and they live. Um, and that was back in the 60s. She was engaged in it all, research, so she contributed not only to cardiothoracic um, surgical endeavors and research endeavors, but also these were translated into other subspecialties of, of uh, surgery, including transplant. She uh, mentored students. She was on the admissions committee at Harvard. She operated, so she was clinically involved as well. She had a family, children, three daughters, a husband. Yeah, she was managing to do it all. At the time uh, that she was um, uh, terminally ill, our oldest daughter said to me, you know, Dad, we should really be doing something to preserve a memory of, uh, of Mom. And uh, that had a great impact on me. And I thought that uh, the thing that Nina would have wanted more than anything else in her professional life would be that the kinds of opportunities that she sort of fell into and then succeeded, that that should be made available to other young women. A human life and the ability for a human being to be healthy while they live out their life is really the most crucial thing that happens. And to be a part of trying to make that possible, to me, seemed the most important thing that one could do. Ever since I was a child, I wanted to be a doctor. Once I was in medical school, I fell in love with surgery, and then I had the opportunity to watch a heart transplant one night after my first year of medical school, and I was hooked on heart surgery. I was introduced to the potential for applying for the Nina Braunwald Scholarship. And so we wrote a grant um, and applied for that, and actually I was, was awarded the, the grant. During those two years in the lab, I had the opportunity to travel. I got to meet Dr. Braunwald at the American College of Cardiology, and I had a chance to present at the American Association of Thoracic Surgeons and the Society of Thoracic Surgeons, which are the two big national meetings. I got two of her grants. So the first grant was when I was a res surgical resident, and that helped me get into uh, the cardiac surgical program that I really wanted to get into, which was the Brigham program. And when I was a young uh, attending, I wanted to continue my research endeavors, and I was interested in clinical research at that time. I therefore applied for the Nina Braunwald Research Award, so it helps young surgeons in their career uh, to move along. And thanks to the award, I was able to get a K-23 to complete my project. Being the first recipient or being a Braunwald recipient is why I'm where I am today. I think that the opportunity that was given to me um, way back when I was a, a second year general surgery resident set the wheels in motion and just reaffirmed to me over and over again that every every opportunity I had led to another opportunity. So I think that your, your life goes down a pathway and I think that this was what started um, the career trajectory for me. Women are incredibly important to the future of medicine and surgery. Women are 50% of our population and yet in cardiothoracic surgery only 6% of our specialty. What we're missing is talent, and what we want are the most talented people in our specialty because they're the people that make academic advancement and take great care of patients. The field of cardiothoracic surgery is open to, to men and to women, and that there's no barrier that shouldn't be broken at this point. I owe a lot to my mentors 
uh, that I've reached where I am now. And now that I have reached a certain level in, in the academic world, I think it's my responsibility to make sure that these opportunities that I was given are available to the younger generation. So I think it is imperative that I mentor medical students, surgical residents, and cardiac surgical residents to the best of my ability. I think that there's, there are so many restrictions in the medical um, environment now. There's not a lot of money that's being donated for grants and things. So I think that this foundation is leading the um, effort in, for innovation, especially for women. There's so many cutting edge technologies that are out there now, smaller ventricular assist devices, ICDs that don't even have to be implanted, lots of new technology for valves being put in without surgery in different positions. And I think the only way that we're going to pursue that is if we stimulate the interest in, in people that are coming along and fund that research through the foundation. The Thoracic Surgery Foundation has made a commitment that we really want to uh, develop the Nina Star Braunwald Research Awards to a sustainable level that will outlive us all, that will continue to uh, support research funding for early career women in cardiac surgery and residents and fellows in cardiothoracic surgery that is sustainable. I think she showed us that if you have a passion for something, just pursue it. Do not let obstacles get in your way. Do what you want to do and do it as well as you can and you will succeed. Because of what uh, Nina Star Bromwald did, many women have benefited from this. I think she would be very proud of what's happening. It's our responsibility to let more people know about it. I think it's a worthwhile cause to donate to the, the Thoracic Surgery Foundation, specifically for the Braunwald Scholarship because I think there are many, many women that we're mentoring now that are interested and I think it's, it's our duty to give them the same opportunity that we had um, when we were coming along. Mm -hmm.